Armor Fast fans, welcome back to another video, guys. So, guys, how you guys doing? You guys doing good? <laughs> All right. So, so you guys might be wondering, what is today's video gonna be? Well, today is gonna be um. All right, today's video is gonna be about the chart topper. So, so with the chart topper, so here's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be showing you guys the best way to actually get. Like the re I'm going to show you guys the best way to reset the draft board for the chart topper. Yeah, right now we're on number 32. We were in like number six to s number six or seven, but the only reason I was able to do that is because I spent super coins, over 20,000 super coins. And I only have like, like at least like two to 2,000 or 3,000 left. And we're at, we're at 12,000. I mean, we're still in the top 100, so that's not bad. But I like to be up there in the... At least like the top 20 or so, but you know. So here's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be showing you guys all the best ways to actually reset the draft board. So gameplay, super coins, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to be showing you guys the best way. So we're going to start off with the money. Alright, so here's the best way. Here, here, here's the first one. Okay, so this one you get super coins and stuff for it. But I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to, to like reset the draft board. So you have... Um, so you so you have money in the bank, you have PvP, you have super coins you can do, you have rule of the ring where you get draft picks and the reset the draft board, stuff like that. Like showing you guys and then I'm gonna use all the picks that we got from all of it to like to reset the board. And we're gonna see how many cards we can get. It shows you how many, like what is the odds of it. We've pulled like, I think we've pulled like four or five in a row or more. At least close to ten in a row. So if you pulled ten in a row, that's already a, that's already a hundred points right there. Pull hundred, it's already a thousand points. This is very, very tough, man, but it's very, very fun. <laughs> Alright, we can do this. Let's just keep it going. Oh yeah, guys, um... If I move around a lot, I do apologize. So I guess, I guess you guys can't hear me whenever I move around. I don't know. I don't know what I can do to fix that if I do like stand up and move around. I don't know. There you guys. Before I forget, make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit, hit that little bell. And guys, um, yeah, see, we're only almost at like twenty five hundred. All right, so let's see what we get from this. Oh, wait, I got 25 to start off from with the uh, King of the Ring. Can we actually reset the board here? Yeah, we've actually pulled some cool stuff. So whenever we get the rewards and stuff for it, I will show you guys everything that we pulled. So that'll be fun. Yeah, we got those point dodges. Those do count as resetting the draft board. At least I believe they do because I, I checked and they do. So if you guys didn't know, they do reset the board. Those and then the other ones. Hey guys, let me know in the comments. Let me know how you guys like the new event. Like the Chart Topper and the Code Breaker. The Chart Topper is probably the better one. It is tough, but it is fun. But the Code Breaker is cool though. It's actually not too bad. All you have to do is just get arrows and stuff. Like you have to solve the arrow thing. <laughs> oh, we got... See, so yeah, we already got like 30 points just right there from just three cards. As I said, each each card is worth 10 points every time you reset the board. So that's good. That's not bad, but it's, you know, it's not the bad. Well, you know, it's good. It's good. It's more points. But as I said, guys, we still have to... I'm going to try to do what I can at least try to stay in the top 100. So this video is going to be posted today. Hey, right, guys, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you guys like that spinner video I did yesterday. I, I forgot that it was Sunday yesterday. I forgot. I do apologize for that. Um, yeah, I was going to post it today, but, you know, it's fine. It's all right. If you guys liked it, just let me know in the comments or, or just hit the like button. Oh, yeah, guys. Also, um, I'm like, uh, oh, yeah, guys. I want to do the backwards or upside down. Like how, like whenever I play super cards, so I'm gonna be flipping my phone around, so like this. <laughs> it's upside down. So I'm upside down, right? So I think I'm upside down, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm upside down there. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing super card upside down, 
or backwards? How would you play backwards? Or would you turn it, but then you guys can't see me in the face cam? I don't know. I think we'll just try to do it upside, like play it upside down. All right. So, I mean, this is like, this is tough, but it's super duper fun. But yeah, I also have free videos to do, so whenever I post this today, I'll probably get all the free videos done. Or, you know, or we still have free videos, either way. So we'll see. Hopefully we get this done. That'll be pretty fun. Um, hmm. But I said, if you, like, um, here's the thing, guys. If you guys have any, uh... If you guys have any uh, super card like ideas or suggestions you guys want me to do for a video, let me know in the comments. All you guys, did you guys guess the tier I was thinking? I said if you guys guessed the tier I was thinking, I was gonna be making a video of your guys as a of your guys as a suggestion. As I said, it's still going. So if you guys want to take a shot at it in the comments or just personal message, personal message me. Either way works. Just let me know what you guys, let me know what your guys' answer is. But make sure you think very carefully. Alright, let's keep this going. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, guys, if you didn't notice, it's seven. Yeah, I just... I just got up, I think, a little bit ago, and I just went in the shower. So, I'm all nice and clean, if you guys didn't notice. So, whenever I bedhead, instead of just rinsing my hair off with just with water, I'm just gonna just, you know, just get a shower, which is probably the best thing to do, in my opinion. So, that's good. <laughs> Alright, let's keep this going. Hmm... I so guys, if you guys didn't notice, my whole team has all rest made 37 cards, which is pretty cool. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about that. So that's pretty good. Um, oh, you guys, the new tier comes out in June, I believe. So next month, and then the super pass, I believe, is also coming out too. So make sure you guys get ready for all that. It should be coming out next month. So. So I'm super excited. Let me know in the comments, are you guys excited? Like, like here's the thing, I can't believe the WrestleMania 37 tier came out and now there's gonna be a new tier already? That's insane. It's only been a month or two, hasn't it? At least somewhere right around there. That's just nuts, man. Like, wow. All right, let's keep this going. And said so I'm also gonna be doing PVP to show you guys, so yeah. So I'll be right back up. All right, guys, we got 20 more picks here. So we got three in the r last round. As I said, guys, it's random of what you can get. So we'll see. Hmm. Oh, got one. Got another one. I think, guys, it's random. Awesome. All right, guys. Um. So we're gonna do war mode. As I said, each of them has a different one, like of how many like draft picks you can get. And so, as well, yeah. Money in the bank is the best one because you get uh, fifty super coins, and then you can spend the fifty. Or, well, 45 and then get, like, 25 picks. So, every 90, you get 50 picks. So, it's pretty good. So, you do two matches, you get 50 picks. You do four matches, you get over 100. You do a lot. But, yeah, I'm just showing you guys what how many you can get from war and stuff. I know, I, I know I've know i done this before, like, showed you guys how many picks and stuff you can get. But, I figure I might as well show you guys, like, what is the best way to reset the board, stuff like that. And then, of course, you also have super coins and stuff, too. So that, you only got four picks. And then this one gives you, these give you the most. Royal Rumble gives you like 12, I think. This gives you, I think, like four or five, maybe six. It, I don't know. Or it only gives you three. I don't know. It only gives you a few. So yeah, that's, that, that doesn't give you a whole lot. 
And here's Code Breaker. I want to show you guys this. So guys, here's how Code Breaker works. So you want to solve these four arrows here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the left arrows in at the top. We got three here. So if you see that three, that three means three of these are the left arrow. And then one of these is one of the other ones. But whenever you do it, don't just put in the right arrows at the top. The way I do it is I just put the same arrow in each one, including the top. So you can get this done within three matches. It does take a while, but it is worth it. And then you also have the right arrows. See? The right arrow wasn't the correct one, so that doesn't work. Even, well, whenever you play, you can win, but... And then, of course, these are refreshers, which refresh the stats on, the, on your card. So, and it, it brings your cards back, it brings the stats back up to normal, so, which is good. Now, let's try the up arrow. It was the up arrow, so this one, so this round is going to be left arrow, three of them, and then the up arrow, which is one. So, what I do, is that happens, whenever, whenever you get an arrow that has more, add it in the first one. And then the next round, then add the up one, and then finish it off in the third round. It's pretty easy. This is actually pretty easy. So, this is the left one, right? Yeah. Now, just don't just put the left and then the up. I've tried that, and it doesn't work. See? Three of them are right, and then the up arrow goes there. So this, and then that's how you play it. And then the next round... You can actually double your points all the way up to like 300 to 4. You can upgrade a lot of points. I've got like 300 some points, which is pretty good. We're only level 10. As I said, this mode is actually pretty fun. And then those times twos give you more points. So, yeah. so that gave us 6 picks. No, wait. 8 picks. Not bad. And guys, then you buy the 25. You spend 45 super coins, then you get 25 picks. And then from the 12 we had from before. And then there you go. But yeah, guys, um, that shows you, like, the code breaker, which is fun. I could do another one to show you. But yeah, that's how play code breaker. It's not bad. So what you want to do is look on the side I showed you guys on the right side. Look at the, look at your cards. Yeah, look at the uh, numbers. Like, see which ones are the right ones. You got to make sure you do that so you put them in the right spot. But just don't, just don't put them all in at the start because it doesn't work like that. It might, but I think I've tried it and it doesn't work. So it all it will automatically give you an X on it. So just put in just put in the three or whatever it is. Just put in the most at the start. Just put in all four of the same arrow of that, and then wait. You have to wait at least a couple rounds. It does take a while, but it is fun. So yeah. So this is what I'm doing just by spending super coins. As I said, I've spent twenty thousand. That's how I, I got to where I was. So. It, this is still fun to do, but it's a pain in the butt. It's tough, man. And then there we go. So I think we only got a couple out of that. So guys, we got two on that one, so we got 20 points. So this is where we left off at. 12,080. So we had 12,010, so. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, we're doing okay. So we got 70 points. As I said, if you just use super coins, you can get a lot of um, points. As long as you get cards back to back and all that, so yeah. So guys, I think I think I explained everything right. And then you also have other events like Road to Glory, Ring Domination, Giants Event. You have Last Man Standing. You have um, Clash Royale. You have Code Breaker. Now you have a lot of different events you can do to get draft picks and then use them to reset the board. So yeah, just showing you guys the best way to reset the board. But yeah, a lot of fun though. Hey guys, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, hit hit that little bell. And guys, um, I hope you guys are still enjoying these videos as always. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I love you guys and I'll see you my Frost fans in the next video. Bye guys. See you guys next time. Love you.